Summit RV camping made easy. Summit RV vacation fun. Good morning, everybody. We are here at Summit RV in Ashley, Kentucky. My name is Jess, and I'm standing here in front of the brand new Keith, or, sorry, Crossroads Singer. This is the 292 RE4 plan. This has a wonderful rear entertainment area um, in the living space. This is the floor plan that you usually have to spend a lot more money to get. Um, so this makes this a very price competitive trailer. It gives you a lot of features and it's built for entertainment. So let's start on the outside and I will show you around. So up at the front, you're gonna notice we have a power tongue jack. Um, this is gonna be nice when you pull into the campground at night. You've got an LED light, it's all electronic. Um, it is prepped for solar. You've got your solar plug up here up front. It does have a battery disconnect, which is really awesome. You don't usually get that in this price point. Um, it does have a diamond plate rock guard that is going to prevent uh, those rocks as you travel down the road from popping up and hitting your front metal and chipping back. Um, huge price of storage. One of the biggest in the industry. It's completely finished, so nothing that you put in here is going to fall underneath the bed and you have to crawl inside and go get it and all that kind of stuff. So this is really nice. We have two power awnings. This one has LED lights. Um, it also has outdoor speakers that are marine gray. There's a place to hold a TV uh, right here on the sidewall. We do have a solid surface step. This is going to be nice and sturdy for you to enter and exit your keeper. It is equipped with the leash link. Um, for all your pets, because I know you guys have pets. Um, something that I love about this trailer, it does have what they call the extreme weather package. So it has a, an enclosed underbelly that has forced heat. So what that means is it actually has a vent blowing heat into your underbelly. That's going to prevent a lot of freezing and anything. If you want to camp like into November, this trailer will allow you to do that more easily. Coming back to the rear, here's a good place to check out our electric stabilizer jacks. These are awesome. It makes it super easy when you walk into the campground to set up. Just push a button and those, those stabilizer, stabilizer jacks are going to come down. You have a roof ladder, your spare tire kit. This is stuff with the Fury on backup from the truck. This camper is equipped with 50 amp service. It has an upgraded AC. It has a 15 kBTU AC. Um, you could add a second AC if you wanted because it is a 50 amp service. Hot and cold outside shower and your city water connections and your black tank flush as well on this side. This is the other side of your pasture storage. The compartment door on the other side is just a little bit bigger in case you have larger things you need to get in here. All right, so that's all for the outside. So let's head inside and check it out there. Okay guys, we are here in the living room. So this is set up for entertainment. You have two recliners across from the TV. The cool thing about this TV is that it has a sound bar that is Bluetooth that will control your indoor and outdoor speakers. You can watch one thing inside and listen to music outside, so that's really cool. We have a sleeper sofa back here, so you can sleep a couple extra people. The island is extra large and has bar stools, so you can actually have a little breakfast spot right here. You can have people at your U-shaped dinette. The dinette is set up for storage underneath, so that's an additional storage place. It's also an additional sleeping space. Here in the kitchen, you have a residential style stainless steel appliances, um, self-lighting oven, you have a residential style microwave, works just like your microwave at home. Uh, this is the upgraded 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. This is gonna run on your inverter and your battery. So this will actually stay cold while you're traveling and you don't have to worry about anything in your fridge spoiling. We have countertops that are thermofoil wrapped and then you do have a sink cover which gives this a countertop extender. You don't wanna cut on this cause you will mess up your foil but it does give you more countertop space. Residential style pulled up faucet, which is really nice. I don't even have that in my house, so I feel like that's a really cool thing for a camper. All of your controls are going to be right here. This is your convenience center. This is where your light switches are, your water heater, water pump, your slides, and your awning as well, and then all of your tank levels as well. Let's see here. So it's like in this bathroom. I'll let you film this, Jacob, so they can see it. You are going to have a gas electric hot water heater in this trailer. It's going to be self-igniting. 
nice tall shower that you know you could definitely stand in no matter how tall you are lots of storage in there too with the big towel closet and then heading on into the bedroom you have a private master bedroom with pocket sliding doors so this is going to actually uh, be a private bedroom rather than having just a curtain or something like that this is prepped for the second ac the vent would come out up here and then the plug is already there okay so in the bedroom you do have storage on both sides of the bed you've got closets you have usb ports you have outlets on both sides of the bed with nightstands so you do have if you do have a cpap machine or anything like that it'll be easy to plug that in you also have some extra storage under the bed right here that's where the comforter is right now all right so i think that that is just about it for this camper uh, I appreciate you guys taking time to watch our video. We will be back soon with another one. Comment below and let me know what you want to see.